Hi, it's Mike here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some games in the Ox. Uh, a much unloved tank in my garage. I've um, been trying to get some uh, good games in the T3485 series of tanks. Uh, so we're looking at the Triumphant, uh, the Ox, the T3485, the T3485 Victory. Um, and the, the Type 58 again is, is another one of these tanks that are all essentially clones of each other. Uh, very similar stats wise. Um, but we'll go and have a look and see how we're doing those uh, today. We're going to look at some of the stats and what we've got and then look at a couple of battles. Uh, trying something different today, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know in the comments if you do or if you want to see something different. Um, we'll, we'll try try new things out. First off, we're going to have a quick look on the mastery uh, charts and we'll see what we need to get a mastery in the ox itself. Um, it's a new feature I've added to the website recently. If you filter down, you get the uh, the show mastery base XP tick box, and that will then go and uh, look at the last sets of damage uh, that's that's that have been recorded by the polar, and uh, it'll try and give you the the required base XP. Uh, you can see here it's 969 uh, is what it thinks we should be getting. It's not not precise, but it's pr pretty close. I think it's within. Uh, it depends how many people have, have mastered it, obviously, in the last uh, well, the battles that have been captured. But we've had a good amount of data uh, come into the site recently, so I think that is pretty accurate. You can see on the other on the other tanks that are very similar to the Ox, um, you've got the T3485, that's 1172. Um, 3485 Victory is 1189. The Triumphant is 948. Um, and there's a Type 58, isn't there? Like, Nobody's actually got a mastery in the Type 58, it's, uh, it's a much unloved tank, uh, I think the Type 58, <laughs> uh, and I certainly haven't played it. Um, but if it plays the same as the other tanks in the series, it should, should be actually be a pretty decent tank, so I might might go and try and, uh, and get to that one uh, and see how we do in it and see how it compares. Um, if we go and have a look at the stats for these, uh, which we can do here. So again, we'll filter down to six and meds. So I've been playing them quite a lot recently. Um, T3485 is actually my, uh, it's at top top of the uh, the list in terms of uh, win rates um, and damage per battle, I think. Uh, no, the victory is 1300, 1244, the triumphant at 1202, but the ox itself, uh, when I first got this tank, I had a really bad time, and it um, it was really hard to uh, to do very well in it at all. So uh, I've been trying to bring the stats back and get the masteries in it, which we can see I've now now achieved the mastery. So I'm well pleased with that. Um, again, this is a new feature I've added to the site, so you can look at individual tanks and view their history. Um, when you go and view this mode, it shows you the last 30 days worth of battles, and again you can filter in here and you can actually see uh, see all the stats for those battles. It's, it's another alternative to history if you just want to work on the, the tanks that you've been playing recently. So, so I've got two battles that I did back to back. So we've got the first one which got WN8 of 5310. It's a high damage game 2667 and the second one is a 3207. And now one of these is a, a level one and one of these is <laughs> a mastery. Um, so we'll go and have a look and watch the games play and see uh, see which is which. It's, it's surprising, really. Um, in terms of damage, both had three kills. One had zero spots. One had two spots. But the uh, the first game is definitely the higher WN8 game. Uh, both super uni unicorn games. So and it's a, it's a lot shorter game as well, interestingly. Um, so we'll go and watch them on the stream and see how see how they play. on Himmelsdorf driving the ox playing on the American server it's a standard uh, game on Himmelsdorf we're going to go to the rails I generally like to wait around this area pop a shot in in the blind to help somebody's eye I know I, know I do that the other way as well so <laughs> if there's somebody like me on the other side, then uh, you're guaranteed a good shot. You see here there are three uh, meds. Um, I've gone on the right hand side here. Alright, Max Xmas has pushed on. 
I've done a good job of spotting them. You can see the Crusader has got completely no cover. Really, we've got nowhere to go. It's just going to get whittled away. All of our team has gone to this right hand side on the rails. It gets a good bounce off that front of the Crusader. Let's see, we've already, it's a, already a tank up. Let's just get a shot on this KB2. And the. <laughs> He just takes a complete snapshot of me there, so you can see that uh, Stalin's on his uh, in his favour. It did make me chuckle that when he just uh, turned his head and fired straight away. But he did the business. We've got Jack PZ hiding in the background there. We're taking quite a bit of damage now. I'm on 360 of 990. The Ox is essentially a version of the T-38-485. I've been driving these tanks quite a lot actually. I've been dis rediscovered the 3485, which I've never really played. Um, but it is actually really quite a strong tank. It's got a good accurate gun. It's, it can bounce quite a lot. can really make a big impact on the battlefield. So it's five versus three here. It's a nice high damage game. The Reds made the mistake of not pushing up the Ulster deep and that let us um, take out the Skoda. Gonna drive by. Crusaders on next to nothing. Play a bit of, I can take a shot off this Jag PZ. I'll trade one and wait for some help from the teammates. He's going to come round, I think, rather than uh, wait. So you see, there we got a nice two six six seven damage, which I was thinking must be on the borders of the mastery. But as you can see, it's only a one. Um, we've got three kills in with that as well. Um, the big difference on this one, which would have made all the difference, is the spotting. So, you see we didn't actually spot any any of the uh, enemy tanks there. And I think if I had gone and rushed early instead of the AMX Xmas, I could have well got a mastery for this game. Still a good game nonetheless. See there we've got the mastery, the high calibre. Here we are back on Yamato Harbour. Got a platoon game. On the face of it they've got a double annihilator versus a bulldog and a tiger P. Which on the face of it doesn't look good for our team. But what am I gonna do here? Which I've started to do actually. I normally put a shot there, but then if nobody else has spotted, done this spotting run, didn't used to do this, but I've started doing it quite a lot now. It's going up and spotting this ridge here, seeing where their meds and heavies, if the heavies have come across. We see the annihilator there, and the KB3 have both come across, so they're definitely going the sea route. Um, we've got a few spots in there. We'll go back and take our position on this ridge. I think when I first started I'd take a position near the gap there on the right hand side and as I've grown a bit more wiser I don't take that early position, I go behind the second one we see here the annihilators are just coming on pretty um, sure of their armour but as you can see all our team is <laughs> it's barely moved from spawn so we can quite easily pick away at them if they're not if they're not uh, taking note. Uh, now we'll give up this side as they've pushed around, and hopefully that the uh, the TDs and heavies do some some damage. We see it there. Our SP1C is uh, being a TD. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, things were completely out of position. I'll go and flank around on the left, see if we can get some shots. The Annihilator's just pushed in there. Can we get his head? No, he just, just turned. But he's in a really bad position. He ever needs to push through. He's going to take some shots. And again, the team is doing the same thing. They need to push through. They get the KV-3. Just absorbed by his tracks there. A reason why on this map I think the old one-way approach doesn't doesn't work. The um, I think the NA server is probably one place where teams go one way more than any of the other servers. I think uh, I've played a few games on most servers. Obviously, I'm from the EU server mainly, but the NA server, a high percentage of the games, the teams go completely one way. And on this map, if you don't take the central ground, I think it's uh, there's a couple of maps where I think it's really important to split up and um, and at least spot the enemy. In fact, I'm always always a fan of spotting, to be honest. Uh, see, the <laughs> it's just really easy to pick shots off these guys. I've got no cover. Taking a hit from that Leo there was uh, was reversed on me, but it's like shooting fish in a barrel, as I say. It's just the Leo left now. A pretty easy game for us, really. There's five versus one left. And on the face of it, when you saw the score sheets to start with, you wouldn't think it would work out this way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if those annihilators had pushed through the middle. We'd all be uh, we'll be looking at the other the result the other way around. I think it makes a big difference where you uh, where you go with your tank. You see here we've got mastery on this one. It's only 1651 damage. We were bottom tier on this one though. Didn't come top damage. We got three kills though. And the big difference between the previous game is that we got these two spots in. Um, if you look on the XP. We've got a base XP of a thousand and four. I think some of that is from the spotting XP there, one six six. Medal wise, what do we get? We got the mastery, we've got a Lev Shalkar's medal and the Kamikaze for ramming that Leo in the end. Um again that would have helped on the XP side of things. Lev Shalkar's is destroyed two enemy vehicles with medium tanking enemy vehicles must be one tier higher, so that's pretty rare pretty rare medal that don't get that very often.